What's up, Cade? How you doing? Cyber, hello. Kruger Dom. Rudy. Capybara, Lorax, or Fumpkin, Gummy Tummy, Dag, Red Carno, Dariel, Smudgy Rabbit, Dead Cabbage Man, Non-Binary Garfield. What's your opinions on Garfield today? Um, about the same as most days, don't really care. Yes, Homemade Kahoot Elbow. Yowsty, Geiger Snap, Lonesome Tony, Rivster, Ben X, Mason K Dog, Reaper Leviathan, Blown, Condi Row, Serbian, In biologist. 24. Congratulations on being 24, Justin. You're getting old fast. Poggers. Two solid years. That's crazy. Two years ago, you showed up here to troll me while I played Minecraft. What's up, Evil Dank Face? Thank you. And Melee? What? That was a different day. What? Why does this- Oh, ducks are super cool. I'm like, why does this person having a first time chat have VIP? I realized who it is. Holy shit. What's up, man? How you doing? Ready for the exam? Hey, Eben. Hi, Nat. I've been okay. What are we doing this stream? We have quite a few things to do this stream. I know what we're doing first, but after that, you guys will have to vote. I have a I have a large number of things we're doing. We're going to start, though, with a hilarious Kahoot. It's homemade by me because I thought it was so fucking funny. Poggers. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, eight months. Whoop, whoop. Thank you, Drag. Promise us it will be hilarious. I promise you it will be hilarious. We also have TikToks. Hello everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful stream and a good day. Thank you, Fiery Surge. Uh, we also have TikToks. We can do Fish GeoGuessr, Fish in the News, Shitty Aquariums. I collected some Sporkle quizzes. Aren't all Kahoots homemade? Yeah, but this one's homemade by me, so it's different. I should turn this light down. How do I do that? Where's my light switch? Hold on. That's up. Oh, that's so bright. Oh my god, it was already all the way down. Okay. Never mind. Guess I won't turn that light down. How long is the stream? Who fucking knows, man? Okay. So let me explain to you guys the concept of this custom Kahoot that I have made. Basically, if you... God damn it, Smudgy Rabbit. Thank you, Smudgy Rabbit. All right, I'm ready. If you have ever been in a fishing Facebook group, whether it be for your state or your county or country or whatever, there's usually a Facebook group for fishing. And the people in there tend to know absolutely nothing about fish. They know fishing, they know locations and how to pull things up, but like the names of fish and the species and all that, they usually have no idea what they're talking about. So when people ask for identifications in these groups, the answers are usually ridiculous and hilarious so what i did is i went into the new jersey where i live new jersey fishing group and i searched up id looking for people who had looked for ids and then collected the worst possible identifications that people put up the worst seriously attempted identifications of fish that were very obviously one thing and were identified as horribly awful other things and i made it into a kahoot because i thought that that would be the most fun so we're going to play that Kahoot today, um, and I will warn you, it will be painful. All right. I made this yesterday. I made this during class yesterday, actually. Damn, Kahoot really fell off. Now you can only play with uh, up to 50 people. That's an L. All right. All right, everybody. Oh, wait, I got to do the Kahoot screen. There you go. I guess I won't join. I don't need to join today because I made it. People have icons now. You guys all have icons. Spooky. Why'd you cut your hair? Because I wanted to. Almost filled up. All 
All right, that's 50 people. Whoa, 51. How did 51 get in? I thought it, what? Oh, never mind. We can play with more than 50. Never mind. Everybody join. I didn't know that. I thought it said it was limited at 50. Maybe because I made it. Maybe because my own Kahoot. I don't know. Well, yeah, we can get more than 50 people. Let's go. So essentially how the quiz is going to work is I am going to show you a picture of a fish that was posted in the New Jersey fishing group chat. And then you're going to have to tell me what someone actually identified, seriously identified in the comments this fish as. That's the game. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Question number one of bad fish IDs. What was this fish seriously ID'd as? Do you see this fish way above the water here on a river? Very clearly, let me get out of the way, this is an American shad. Very clearly an American shad. Which of these <laughs> fish did someone seriously identify it as in the New Jersey fishing group chat? <laughs> yeah, they're all awful, but only one, at least for this question. Some questions, multiple, but for this question, one. What is it doing up there? They can jump really high. They're a migratory fish, like salmon, so they have to be able to jump over barriers and get up waterfalls and shit. They're extremely important, too, and very threatened by dams, because they can't quite get over dams. But George Washington ate them. And that's how he won the Revolutionary War. Anyways, this fish in the New Jersey Fishing Group chat fish. was identified as an Asian carp. <laughs> uh, flying fish was a good bait answer, but someone said that this tiny shad-shaped fish was an Asian carp, and they seriously guessed that. So now you've got the idea. Let's play another round. What was this fish seriously identified as? Now, this is an inshore lizard fish. This is an ocean fish. It's very common being called a lizard fish. Which of these did someone in the comments of the identification on Facebook say that it is? Hi, Ender. Ender, did you hear that Ghost Boy is my editor now? Alright, well most everybody answered, so I'm gonna skip. That's right, both a wolffish and a juvenile snakehead were given as serious attempts of identification at that inshore lizard fish. <laughs> An eel would make more sense. These are just fucking insane. Yes, a wolf fish. That was a genuine thing that someone identified it as. At least they were in salt water. This one isn't even the right... This is... This is fresh water. They weren't even in the right fucking salinity level. Alright. This is a, a reverse question. What wasn't this fish ID'd as? So three out of the four possibilities for this fish were put in the comments. Which one wasn't? Which of these is fake? Which of these did I make up? Consider the fact that three out of the four of these were genuine attempts at identification. Three out of the four of these were genuine attempts at identification of this fish. There's only one of these that was not a genuine attempt. No way someone said flounder. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> That's right, chat. The only one that makes even a little bit of sense, it being a baby grouper, was not an identification. This fish was identified as a short-nosed sturgeon, a saltwater snakehead, which doesn't exist, and, believe it or not, a flounder. <laughs> Someone genuinely called that a flounder. <laughs> Alright. 
<laughs> Alright, next question. Back to the general idea. What was this fish ID'd as? Just, you know, a guy out on the out on the water. He called himself a smallmouth bass. Alright, cool. Smallmouth bass, pretty common. He's having a good day. He had a he had a nice one. He caught uh he caught his nice smallmouth bass and he asked the group chat, he said, hey guys, what is this? Now tell me which of these did someone say that it is? Goldfish would be hilarious, but I still have faith in humanity. Well, I hate to break this to you, but it was identified as both a goldfish and an inland red snapper, which I don't even know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. But that was genuine identifications of that smallmouth bass. You would think someone would have called it a largemouth, and it's like, okay, yeah, sure, it's a largemouth smallmouth. They look fairly similar. You just don't know your ID keys. Nope, not one person said largemouth bass, but someone said goldfish and someone said inland red snapper. <laughs> Ridiculous. Alright, what was this fish ID does, chat? Pretty obvious. It's a mummy chog. It is a type of killifish. Everybody knows the mummy chog. It's a very common, you know, fresh saltwater estuarine fish. They're everywhere. They're very pretty. People find them all the time. They can be used as good bait fish. And they are in the killifish family. They are in the same family as these three answers. Striped killifish, rainwater killifish, banded killifish. It would be reasonable for someone to look at this and say, okay, it's this killifish. You know, this one actually looks pretty similar. It could be this killifish. This one's a little less reasonable, but hey, it's still possible. This one's even less reasonable, but it's still a killifish. And I'm saying that because the answer, unfortunately, is bullhead minnow. This was identified as a bullhead minnow in the Facebook group. <laughs> which you guys I can tell are losing your faith in humanity because you're getting more right you're just picking the stupidest answer and getting it right every time because the stupidest answer is always the answer <laughs> all right this is a different type of question which ID was given most so this is a common shiner this is a very obvious common shiner any person who knows anything about fish could identify this as a common shiner but I'm not asking you which dumb, you know, rare ID was given. What was the single most replied comment? In the other ones, it's been like, okay, well, like one person said something dumb or two people said something dumb. In this one, I am asking you what was said the most? What was the group consensus? You would think that on a common shiner, the group consensus would be a common shiner, but unfortunately it's not. It's a creek chub. And I have a quote here from someone in the Facebook group. This person said in the group, because a bunch of people were saying common shiner and a bunch of people were saying creek chub, this person said, if you think this is a shiner, your fishing license should be revoked. Speaking as an ichthyologist, that's a common shiner. So maybe that guy's fishing license should be revoked instead. <laughs> It's just fucking ridiculous. Alright, two more questions. What was this fish ID'd as? This, of course, is a golden shiner. Pretty easy ID when they're big. I mean, their body shape is unlike most other fish. Should be really easy to tell what this is when it's big. <laughs> Everybody, you know. Everybody should look at this and be like, golden shiner, yeah, obviously. Rudd could also be somewhat reasonable. They look somewhat alike. Rudd is kind of a stupid answer because we're in New Jersey, not in, you know, Europe. But, like, it's, you know, it, that's somewhat reasonable. But, uh, unfortunately, this was identified as a blue marlin. <laughs> this one was, like, on the edge of, like, this person has to be kidding. They, like, I... <laughs> But, like, usually they'll, like, put a laughing face. They just said Blue Marlin. <laughs> yeah. Insane. All right, one more chat to decide who knows the stupid people the best. Winning this one probably isn't a good thing. What was this fish id as? The final fish. This, of course, being a fall fish. 
pretty common fish in New Jersey. They get pretty big. They're pretty distinct. It's pretty hard to identify it as anything except a fall fish, but... What did the people in the New Jersey Facebook group say? <laughs> it was not puffer fish, that was a bait. This was identified as both a tarpon, an ocean fish, and a landlocked salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Two equally ridiculous answers. Pufferfish is ridiculous, but tarpon is just fucking mind-bogglingly stupid. And yet it was a genuine ID. Alright, congratulations. You are the closest to the people identifying improperly. Is that fucking Albert Einstein as a mouse? Okay, dead guy with goggles or uh, headphones. And the winner? Damn, by like barely any points. Cheese, the guy who has a brain for a head. That makes sense. Congratulations for being the most aware of the stupid people and the bad IDs. All right. All right, now you guys get to pick what we do next. That was my custom Kahoot I created just for you guys. I thought you would enjoy it because I thought it was funny. Now you guys get to you guys get to pick what we do next. Question: What next? TikToks, Bitty aquariums, Sporkle quizzes. Um, who AI makes hybrids? Fish geoguesser. Wow! For once, I'm filling up all the options. I'll give you guys two minutes to decide what we're doing. Five options. I don't think I've ever done one of these with five options before. Got that content prepared today. Oh, wow. You guys like the AI, huh? Interesting. AI and fish geoguess are going hard. You guys always pick weird stuff. Things that I don't expect you to pick. Appreciate that. Mix it up. I mean, we're going to do most of these, if not all of these today. So what you're really deciding is the order. You're not deciding whether something's going to actually happen or not. Seems like AI makes hybrids is the number one by far. All right, well, this is going to be more chill. So I got this idea from a friend. Her name is Nat. And essentially, she was putting in various fish names into Crayon, which is the renamed Dolly Mini, which is an AI that creates art from prompts. Um, and what she essentially did was she would just put in the names of fish and then see how the AI interpreted that fish. Uh, and so what I thought would be a fun idea would be to hybridize fish in here and then compare them for some of them to actual existing hybrids and see how good the AI is at mixing species of animals together to compare to actual things. And if it is good at it, we could try mixing animals that make no sense and have no chance of hybridizing. Play God with their genetics. So the first thing we're going to do is a very easy one. Largemouth bass, smallmouth bass hybrid. Now the AI does take a minute, but this is my first idea. These do exist and we can actually find them. So we can go to largemouth, bass, smallmouth, bass, hybrid. The mean mouth bass. This is what it looks like. So the AI is attempting to recreate this essentially. The mean mouth bass. It's a fairly rare hybridization, but this is what it looks like. All right. And so we're going to see how close does the AI get what do we notice already? It's a little thick, thicker than the usual. Like large mouth or small mouth. It's actually like just way deeper bodied, which is interesting. Seems to be one of the only pictures. Yeah, look at that. It's just very thick. It's like carp level thickness. It's interesting. Invent a fish will probably be the next stream, which will be next Wednesday, most likely. All right. It has generated mean mouth bass. So this is the AI's interpretation of a mean mouth bass. I just gave it the two species to hybridize. This one's missing a, some of the fins, which is interesting. This one makes more sense. Oh, this one has a giant top fin. Overall, they're not that bad. 
Why do the men look identical? That's a great question. Why is they're all wearing different things, but they all have the exact same hat and glasses and like similar ish shirt. <laughs> it's the same man being AI nine times. All right. So this is what the AI thinks of a small mouth bass, large mouth bass hybrid. So let's try something that like exists and is common. So this is I'm going to try a green gill. So bluegill, sunfish, green sunfish hybrid. This is called a green gill, and this is an extremely common hybrid. In fact, it's a threat to many of our native species because green sunfish are invasive in many places. So green gill sunfish are pretty common. Look, there's even a page for them. Essentially, they have like the dotting structure of a pumpkin seed like that chain back, but then they've got that blue on their face like a, a, uh, a green sunfish would have. So let's see if the AI can create a proper hybrid between these two. Like I said, it's very common, so we have a lot of photos to compare to. We can check how good is the AI. This is a green gill hybrid. We have a very high quality image of one. White middle-aged men who tend to share, who share a hobby tend to look similar. Fair enough, but I do think it was utilizing one picture actually. All right, here is the green gill sunfish as interpreted by Dolly. Now this is interesting. Why do they, some of them have two opercular spots? What's with the extra spots here? Neither a green sunfish nor a bluegill sunfish has spots on its side. So why is it giving him some spots on his side? It's very interesting. This picture is interesting. None of them really look too much like it. Like they're all lacking the distinct blue on the operculum that you would see in a green sunfish. Like this looks more red breast than anything. Look at how red his breast is. Why is his breast so red? Interesting. All right, so we know the AI is not particularly good at uh, making hybrids then. We've given it a few test rounds. So now let's just give it some absolutely ridiculous stuff. So uh, give me some ideas for ridiculous fish combine to combine because clearly the AI <laughs> is not going to come up with some good ones. Sturgeon and stingray. Sturgeon, stingray, hybrid. All right, we are hybridizing a sturgeon and a stingray. Stingray goldfish, manta shark, marlin plus stingray. Interesting. Shark and a goldfish. That's a good one. Can I open up this more than once? Will that let me? Will it let me do that? Is it really that easy to game the system? Okay. Um, lamprey blue whale hybrid. Okay. Um, let's see. What are some other good ideas? Manta. Manta ray puffer fish hybrid. Okay, what else you guys got? Megalodon and puffer fish. Megalodon. Wait, did I just do a puffer fish? I did. Let me Megalodon something else. Megalodon angler fish hybrid. What else you got? Megalodon crabzilla. Come on. Do we really got to do this? I guess this will be a fire thumbnail. Putting this image in the thumbnail and be like, Megalodon X Crabzilla hybrid. I'll get all the five-year-olds. All right, the first one has been combined. A sturgeon and a stingray. Oh my God, this one's so good. That's like a sturgeon head on a stingray body. Oh my God. Wait, they actually look fire. These ones don't have like good full bodies, but like some of them actually have a good like sturgeon shaped this is so cute. It's just a flat sturgeon. Look at him. <laughs> it's just a pancake sturgeon. This should be a real species. This is adorable. It actually did a way better job than I expected. I don't know what the fuck happened to this one. I don't know why he has two tails or what's going on here, but this one's really good. The double diagram with the sturgeon. I mean, these look like some of those like um, ancient fish that you see in the textbook. Some like acanthidae fish with just like the wings and everything. They look amazing. They're super cute. All right. Lamprey blue whale hybrid. OK, these are just lamprey picks. Is this the only angle people take of lampreys? This one kind of failed to make a hybrid. Every single one is just a fucking lamprey on glass with some weird stuff going on in its mouth. We need to replace this one. Give me a good idea, chat. Oarfish, 
squid hybrid. Okay. Manta ray puffer fish. Oh my god. It's like kind of fucked up, but kind of adorable. You can see the manta ray is definitely the dominant feature, except in this one. This one I think is the best combination. This is like manta ray x puffer fish. This one's not bad. The rest of these are kind of like weird abstract art. This one flying in the sky, it's kind of sick. I don't even see the puffer fish in any of these eight. I see the puffer fish in this one though, just by shape and the way the eye is. This looks like a puffer fish. I like that one. Megalodon angler fish hybrid. Holy shit, this looks like something that would get submitted to my invent a fish contest. What? What? It has a shark's tail as its nose? And then a second dorsal fin. This is a sick idea. Its nose is also a tail. So it can swim even faster and propel with its face. Decoy tail. So things think it's turned around. Holy shit. Some of you guys got to submit this to invent a fish. The reverse shark. People think it's turned around. So they attack it from behind. This one's creepy. Overall, not seeing the angler fish very much. This one's horrifying. This is like SCP type shit. This one I think shows the anglerfish the most, but it's just because of the dorsal fin being crazy and the mouth kind of looks anglerfishy. Why do they always have these double giant dorsal fins? Interesting. Megalodon Crabzilla. Wow. The AI really failed us here, huh? This one just sucks. All right, I need a new idea. Blobfish, sawfish, blobfish, sawfish, hybrid. All right, what was this, the one we made earlier? Orfish squid. Okay, it's kind of just a weird fucked up orfish. This is interesting. It's like a squid face on an orfish. Abstract art for sure. I wish these like generated further. They're always cut off at the edges and that's kind of annoying. Like, if this showed the full thing, this might be really good. This might be really good, too. This one just kind of looks like an oarfish. I mean, I'm seeing... It seems like whatever word you put first gets a much heavier, like, priority. So let me try something. Let me try hybrid squid oarfish. If I put hybrid first, maybe it'll focus on the hybridization rather than focusing on the first fish. It's still creating... Oh! Oh my god! The blobfish sawfish! Holy shit. That's so good. Look at them! Oh my god, they're so adorable. Okay, that one's kind of fucked up. What happened here? This looks like a keyblade. Poggers! He's Hello. so flat. It is flat fuck Friday. Hi Soph, how are you? Thank you for the 17 months. This is um insane. This one's adorable though. I love this. It's like a blobfish face fitted onto a sawfish. And then he's got the little snout. It is flat fuck Friday, my dudes. He has a Dark Soul sword. Yeah, I don't know why they gave him a sword after, but Alright. Hybrid or squid Oh, see, this is better, I think. Like, that looks more like squid face. Oh, God, that one's terrifying. Dude, stop. Why are the images all cut off? This one's slightly better. It's not bad. All right, let me do one more, chat. What's your best idea? Helicoprion and a seahorse? Well, okay, we'll do a couple more. Helicoprion, seahorse, hybrid. I'm keeping that one because he's a flat fuck. I'll replace this one. Coelacanth seahorse? We just did a seahorse. Cuttlefish and tasselated wabagong? Too many words. Wolffish and dragon face? Dragonfish? Duolingo owl and the carp? Duolingo. Duolingo. Carp. Hybrid. <laughs> I don't know why that one got me. I think it'll be funny. Alright, give me one more. Hammerhead and a goldfish. Hammerhead, goldfish, hybrid. All right, chat. 
We've got our adorable blobfish, our adorable sturgeon X. What was this one? This was a sturgeon and a stingray. Sturgeon stingray. Blobfish sawfish, which is genuinely just an amazing one. Eastern black nose days, X Western black nose days. Yeah, okay, man. What the fuck? Okay, they're all just normal. This time it prioritized seahorse for some reason. They're all seahorse, except this one has like a weird shark in the background. And this one has too many tails. And some of them have detached tail parts. But all overall, it's just not going well. Duolingo Owl Carp Hybrid. Oh god. It's the same thing. The first image has a carp in it, and the Duolingo Owl is horrifyingly looking down on it. And then the rest of the images are just the owl. What is at the bottom here? What is the Duolingo Owl doing? Blob Sawfish is such a great thumbnail. It is. This is a fire thumbnail. Let me download this so I can send it to Ghost Boy for the thumbnail. It's a fire thumbnail. Yeah, this Duolingo Owl is horrifying. He's coming for you and your carp. All right. Hammerhead Goldfish. Oh my god. It's just a bubble eye goldfish. It's just that one goldfish that's like super selectively bred. The rest of them look pretty well. I guess that one's kind of fucked up. It has an eye coming out of its operculum. But it doesn't look bad. This one's probably the best. But now overall, this one's fire. Like if you could like cut out this part, just have this as the thumbnail. That'd be fire. Some of these are amazing. All right, I think that's enough fucking around with AI. If you guys want to try more hybrids, you should try them. And if you get like a good hybrid image, send it, uh, make it like your invent a fish or something. Have you tried puffer shark? I, we did a puffer fish and um, uh, manta ray. Yeah, the stingray was cute too. All right. All right, let me do the poll again, chat. What now? TikTok, shitty aquarium, sporkle, or fish geoguesser? Go, go, go. Decide what is next. What the fuck? Why did I get a service error? Okay, now it's working. I'm not doing a bird kahoot. Why would you spam bird kahoot? You really think by spamming bird kahoot, I'm going to just know what I'm going to do that? No, I don't want to do a fucking bird kahoot. I don't know anything about birds. That makes no sense. Why would I do that? Fish GeoGuessr, you guys really enjoyed that last time, huh? Well, I don't know how well the videos are going to do, but I am down to play more Fish GeoGuessr. If you guys are down for Fish GeoGuessr, I'm down for Fish GeoGuessr. You weren't here for it? Okay, fair enough. The first video went up. Um, I have no idea where I put the document. Huh. What would I have called it in all my wisdom? I think I called it... Oh, I found it. This GeoGuessr. Alright, chat. Let us begin the game, the wonderful game of Fish GeoGuessr. If you don't know, we are going to be placed into a random state in the United States. One of the 50 United States. Yes, Alaska and Hawaii are included, though it's mostly freshwater fish. So Hawaii probably won't come up because it probably only has a couple observations of like that one freshwater goby. But basically, I'm going to get a random number. And in let me do this one in this Excel sheet, I am going to scroll to that number that is randomly generated. That will put me in a random state and I will have five fish. I will get to see five pictures of fish and try to determine where I am. So our first number is 29115. I realize you guys can't see the numbers on the side, so you just have to trust that I'm going to the right number. I promise this is row 29115. All right. First image. Where are we? God damn it. Okay. Oh. Montana. Okay, just because someone's wearing Montana shirt does not mean that they're in Montana. But it is a good clue. If everything lines up with Montana, then maybe we should guess Montana. Okay, little sunfish. Got a lot of yellow on it for a bluegill. 
Interesting. Move down a bit. Okay, Asian carp. Probably a grass carp. Interesting. So far, none of this has been too helpful. Okay, probably... I don't know. Why is his face so long? Are these pike minnow? They have... This one has such a long face. Is it a pike minnow? Does Montana have pike minnow? No. I don't really know anything about pike minnow. I just know that they have long faces. And this one has our stupidly long face. Alright, one more. Okay. Well, we got beachy of some sort and a dead something. I can't even tell. Hmm. So we've got a Montana, which could be a, a bait, but they're wearing a Montana shirt. This one has the black stripe. This is probably an Atropis, this one here. I mean, it feels stupid not to guess. Like, if I guess something else and it's Montana, I'm going to feel so stupid. I'm going to guess Montana. I just have to, right? I'm just stupid if I don't guess Montana. Oh, God. What? We were in Texas? In no universe would I have ever guessed Texas. I was so focused on this area, I would have never thought of Texas. What fish was this? The Amer This was a dead gizzard, Chad, and they're not up there, huh? You're not good at this game? You wouldn't be good at it either. Shut up. A lot of fish are just everywhere. That's a rough first one. Hey, that's all right. We got four more rounds to get one. My goal is just one for five. I want to get one of every five attempts. All right, 16, 9, 4, 5. Sixteen nine four five. Oh, okay. This is um, um, a a a a sailfin molly, or some sort of molly. I haven't seen those gold scales before, so we're probably in Florida. A. Okay. That doesn't really tell me much. A. Okay. Shad doesn't really tell me much. A. Okay. Channel cat doesn't really tell me much. Okay, another fucking channel cat. Okay. Well, I feel like these four, if I only had these four images, I would guess like... I don't even know. Like Midwest. But this one makes me think we're in Florida or like Louisiana or Alabama. And the most likely by far would be Florida. What else is there? Alabama, Florida, Louisiana, Texas. This could just be like a wild capture, though, that didn't survive the winter. Go with your gut. I have no idea. I'm going to say South Carolina. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm just saying South Carolina. Bad guess. Hey, fuck you. Not again. Not again. Fuck you, Texas. <laughs> God damn it. Come on. Okay, at least the thing that the fish was in South Carolina. I was right about that, at least. This fish's distribution does go across the entire South and into South, South Carolina. It's the same area in Texas. It's fucked up. Got Texas twice in a row. I was like 13,000 observations away. That means there's like 20,000 Texas observations. That's ridiculous. All right, 121.950. What am I, zero for three? Or is that zero for two? That's zero for two, right? All 
Oh, for two? All right. It's going to be teched. What the fuck? Okay, it's a gar. It's a gar. It's a horrifyingly bad image, but it's a gar. Oh. And a fucking cichlid. Okay, are we just in Florida? Is that a Florida gar and then a cichlid? And then another cichlid? It better not be fucking Texas. And then another cichlid? Okay, it's just Florida, right? If there's anything I've learned, Florida... Oh, sheep's head minnow. Yeah, that's also Florida. If there's anything I've learned, Florida is the easiest one to guess by far. Because this, my friends, is... Florida! I thought it was going to be the fucking east coast of Texas again. It is, in fact, Florida. Woohoo! One for three. That's the like only one I've, I've gotten New Jersey right, and I've gotten Florida right twice. My three correct answers ever playing this game are two Floridas and a New Jersey. Florida is just wet Texas. Interesting. All right, two more. Chat, this time I'm gonna let you choose where we are. I'll let you take the guess for me. Since you guys seem to know so well, I'll let you guys consensus guess a location. All right, here's your first fish, chat. Since you guys know so well, there's your first fish. I'm not even going to tell you what it is. You guys can work together. Fuck. I did the thing where I scrolled down to the top again. Sorry about that. Oh, I lost it. Okay, well, different one. There you go. Come on. Okay, whatever. Sure, here's your first fish, chat. There's your second fish. There's your third fish. There's your fourth fish. Damn, you guys like the large mouths, huh? And there's your fifth fish. All right, here are your fishes. What are your thoughts, chat? You guys get to guess whatever answer is the most. Florida, Texas, Georgia, Ohio, North Dakota, Illinois. Florida is a lock because of the minnow. No, Florida's not a lock because of the minnow. Florida's a lock because of this is a fucking hoplo catfish. This is an aquarium release that could only fucking survive in Florida. Fuck you guys. You got an easy one. It doesn't count. Stupid. They're literally only in Florida. Look, they're not in a single other state. Just the first fish alone and you know you're in Florida. Stupid. It's a South American catfish from the aquarium trade. All right, that one doesn't count, chat. This is your actual one, okay? 69467. This is your actual one. Florida never counts. This one won't count. This one will count. This one's not Florida. Probably. Okay, there's your first fish. There's your second fish. Third fish. Fourth fish. Fifth fish. <laughs> I don't know why you guys are so excited about it being Florida. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think it's Florida. I would not be dumb enough to guess Florida here. That's all I'll tell you. All right. What do you guys think? Florida, Florida, Illinois, Florida, Florida, Texas. Kentucky, Louisiana, Florida, Florida, Florida. Oh, you guys are not going to like this. This isn't Florida. Look at this minnow. This is not Florida. Womp womp. You guys failed. It is, in fact, Nevada. I would have never guessed Nevada. We have yet to get Nevada. I was in fucking Las Vegas. That's crazy. I would have never guessed Nevada. But apparently there are plecos in Las Vegas, Nevada.
in this river in Las Vegas. So if you're ever doing some gambling and you want to go to the Clark County Park, there's apparently a shitload of plecos. Lies, there is no water. There's Lake Las Vegas, which apparently has plecos in it. Probably aquarium releases. Well, you guys failed. And you suck. And that is the only conclusion. Womp womp. Yeah, I would have never guessed Ohio or Nevada. I would have never guessed Nevada. Never in a billion years do I guess Nevada there. All right, chat, what's next? What now? Now we have the normal stuff. Sporkle. TikTok. Shitty Aquarium. Now we have the normal stuff. Basement eel time. I like that you just know if we're going to do TikToks, there's probably going to be a basement eel guy in there. Yeah, Soph does like the basement eel guy, so she usually puts him in the compilations. Can you play through the entirety of the Shark Tale game and point out inaccuracies? Yeah, sure, Ghost Boy, but you have to edit the entire thing and subtitle it. It's pronounced Nevada, not Nevada. Grow up, bitch. It's pronounced Nevada. What are you going to do about it? Were you there? Did you name it? Fuck you. Sorry, it was hostile, but I don't like when people tell me I pronounce things wrong. All pronunciation is made up. Everything's made up. If you think you're governing someone else's pronunciation, it's based on a law that doesn't exist. It's all made up. What is a sporkle? It's basically a bunch of fish quizzes. Quizzes about fish that I will try to do quickly and fastly and demonstrate my knowledge of fish quizzes. Your pronunciation is more made up than my pronunciations. Holy shit, you're right. Technically, taxonomy is also all made up. Taxonomy is rooted in genetics. The distances are entirely made up. Like, what we decide is a genus and what we decide is a family and, like, the genetic relatedness between them, entirely made up. Makes no fucking sense. We kind of just arbitrarily decided that shit one day. However, the actual genetic relationships are real and provable, unlike pronunciation. All right, the winner is TikTok. You know what that means, chat. It's TikTok time, everybody. TikTok time. TikTok time, everybody. Fish TikTok time. How many do we have? I think we've got enough for... Oh, geez. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three videos? We think three videos from this chat. Is this enough for three videos? All right. Let's do it. Tis TikTok time. Time to see what the world of TikTok has to offer for us today. All right, we're starting the first YouTube video. Everybody say hi, YouTube. First TikTok. What is this? What is it? It's, um... Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but I dissected one in, like, a Ecology 1 class. Um, no, it's not a sea hare. It, uh, someone knows the name. It's weird. It's like a whole family that n there's nothing like it. It is not the sea, the sea Lucy. It is not a, it's not a sea cucumber. Do you really, none of you guys know what this is? It's not a scallop. None of you guys know what this is? Walking meatloaf? No. Wait, walking meatloaf actually, I think is the common name. No, it's not a nudibranch. It's not a sea slug. It's not a sea slug. Everyone's saying it's a sea slug. It's not. It, it has a different name. Chiton? Chiton? Is that what it is? A, a, a chiton? Yeah, it's this thing. It's a chiton. It's a type of mollusk. I told you guys it's not a fucking sea cucumber or sea slug. It's a chiton. They're very pretty. And yes, the bottom does look, um, well, you know. Chiton is how it's pronounced. You want to have another fucking talk about pronunciation right now, Eastern AG? You really, you want to have an... You just heard me rant to someone random in chat because they told me my pronunciation is wrong. You really want to go right now? 
Look at the alligator. Oh, I would not fly your drone that close. What are you doing? Okay, I was actually kind of sick. That, he 100% deserved for that drone to go bye-bye. If that drone had gone bye-bye, I would have not felt bad at all, but for the risk he took, he got a pretty sick video. If he has a camera on the bottom side of the drone, he got the fucking crocodile slash alligator coming straight up at him, mouth open. Yeah, the POV video will be sick. It might have been worth it. Even if your drone gets eaten, if the video is being like live streamed elsewhere, like if you get it like live streamed to your phone or something, you can get the footage no matter what. If you care more about getting that one video than you do about your drone's price, then hey. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh shit! Oh shit! I got that on video! Holy fuck! Yeah. Big ass whale comes through, breaches the surface, all the fish swim out of the way. The whale's not trying to eat the fish, but the fish get fucking scared because a giant thing is going near them. You can tell that a lot. I uh, There's like big groups of shad, or not shad, bunker, which are um, menhaden. That's what I was thinking, menhaden on the shores here, like just giant schools of menhaden. And whenever you see a shitload of them jump out of the water, you know that something is chasing them and trying to eat them. Pretty sick. What the fuck? Did the guy catch the whale? <laughs> you got your fish on? <laughs> what the fuck? Rip. Rip your fishing rod. Or line. Here's a, here. here's a fun fact that I want to share with you. Did you know that people who own koi fish ponds, like those little uh, cute little fish, every fourth fish is fake. This is to help the fish keep safe. So you would have the koi fish that are labeled like A, B, and C. Those are real. And then you would have the, the, the decoy. I'm just... Jesus Christ. I really I was trying to. Yeah, no, I really was like concerned and was trying to like, I was like, what is he talking about? I was like, wow. No, that's in... I was like, this is interesting. Like, is there some kind of strategy in koi ponds that I didn't know about? Fuck y'all. Fuck you. Okay. Big ass shark. Hello? Oh my god! Shark is bing chilling. I love how everyone's just excited. Everyone's just hyped about it. Well, actually, she might be absolutely terrified, but she sounds excited. I like people who, when they're afraid, they sound excited. God. I think that's funny. Yeah. Big shark come in for nom nom. He nom nom on boat. He say hello. He swim away. Here are some Tiger. fish that shouldn't... Fishing is like sex to me. I ginger lithe fish. I'm not even going to thank you for a sub. Exist. Because they're evil looking. And I hate them. Up first, we have the sheep's head fish. What? Which looks, you know... Okay, I don't like sheep's head because their teeth are fucked up. Fair enough. I don't think they should exist, though. They're kind of ecologically important. Normal, relatively fish-like, and not demonic. Until you pop this buddy's beak open and see it's got a whole fucking ring of human teeth. Having human teeth is a problem in itself. A lot of fish have that, though. And it's not human teeth. They're just molars. It's not a human thing just because we have molars and then whenever an animal all calls it, we're just personifying and we're like, oh, they have human teeth. No, they just have molars because they just break stuff like we do. I don't like it and it, it upsets me deeply. But the fact that it has like the, the bottom of its mouth is all people teeth. That should, we should kill them all. We should kill all these fish. If I were to stop eating meat, I would stop eating pigs and cows because I think they have the capacity to love you. Chickens don't. They're evil by nature, but True. fish would, I would eat them out of spite. Okay. This thing needs to die. Up next is the wolf eel. And before I show you a picture, wow. I just want us all- This guy just doesn't like fucked up teeth. He's just giving all the fish that have fucked up teeth. Next is going to be a fucking moray eel because it also has fucked up teeth. This guy is fish racist. Damn. Don't tell this guy that British people exist. Take a deep breath and realize that there are monsters living among us. Three, two, one, here it is. Soak it in, and it's gone forever. You'll never have to see that again. I'm so sorry for even bringing that up. I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything. I didn't look anything up about this fish because I'm so fucking scared of it. So we're just gonna move right on. Up next, we have the ocean sunfish, which is cute. You know, it's a this guy just looked at fucking um, tier zoo's tier list or whatever. He just went down tier zoo's tier list and went to the F-rated fish and is just fucking talking shit on them because they're funny faces. The What's not to love? Besides the fact that it is a behemoth, 
a giant with no moral compass. Look at this picture of this dude swimming next to it. That is unsettling. I am, I am not settled. I feel like if I shot it with a handgun, it would take it. It would yeah. swim off. Oh, 100%. No fish should be able to survive a nine millimeter. Before I get to the next fish, I just want to say, I don't know anything about guns. So when I said nine millimeter, I just, that's the only gun I know of. I don't even know if that's a gun. Just don't make fun of me. Okay, you hicks. I don't know anything about guns. Last but not least, can you get your butthole out of the frame? Please. Last but not least is the Pacific Barrel Eye Fish. The science fiction writers of our era could never. This feels like one of those shitty top ten lists, but like actually trying to monger fear. At least he's doing. He's trying to be funny. No moral compass is very funny. I feel like ocean sunfish have moral compasses. They seem sweet. You can spend the night at the Ripley's Aquarium located in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. What the hell? I was just there. <laughs> the most recent Avian Jay's adventures was me staying at. In Gatlinburg, Tennessee, I walked by this Ripley's Aquarium probably 10, 20 times in the few days that I was Through there. An event called Sips and Sharks, which is a 21 and over sleepover. I never we actually went in. To spend at the bar, and then after that, we could walk around the aquarium for a little over an hour. This part was the best because there were no crowds, which means no lines to see anything. After that, we went on a behind the scenes tour led by one of the marine biologists that works at the aquarium. We saw the filtration systems, some of the animals that were in quarantine, and some of the baby animals that had been born earlier that day. We also got to pet some of the animals that aren't normally on the our iguana. After that, it was time to get ready for bed around 1230. We blew up our king size air mattress and went to go sleep in the shark tunnel. I didn't count exactly, but there were around 30 people in our group and there was more than enough room for us to all space out in the tunnel. This is the face we woke up to in the morning. We had breakfast, and then we also got another behind the scenes tour where we got to see the fish eat breakfast, and we pet a shark and a starfish. This was so much fun. It came in at $99 a person, and we would at most- It's kind of sick. When was this recorded? I want to know when this was recorded, because this is early November, October. Bro, I probably was there. She was probably recording this TikTok when I was in Tennessee, staying at a hotel, like, less than a mile away from this aquarium. I never went to the aquarium, though. I, I just thought it would not be sick. I just figured good game, aquarium good game. in Tennessee would probably not be cool. Good game, 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 good game. Fuck you. Good game, 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 good game. If that doesn't give you flashbacks to fucking middle school, you didn't play sports, bro. After every single lacrosse game, this was the shit you had to go through after a badminton game. Aren't badminton, isn't badminton one-on-one? -on -one? Bro, lacrosse, there were like 30 people on each team. And every single one of us had to line up. And by the time you got to the other end of the line, you didn't even know what the word game meant anymore. You had said good game so many times that you couldn't even think of the meaning of the word or concept of it. I went through that many times. Most difficult part about being a lacrosse player. The actions in this video are performed by professionals. That guy just got hit in the head by a fucking ladder. Oh, there's a marlin on their boat. Well, that's rough. Jesus! That's a good way to get speared. Okay. Yep. How many times are they going to do this? This says they are professionals or supervised by professionals. I'm going to call cap on that. These guys are like inches away from just getting skewered and turned into human shish kebabs. Like that guy straight up could have just gotten fucking shish kebabbed easily. That guy probably did get shish kebabbed. That guy probably just got stabbed. Yeah, look! He got fucking stabbed through his leg. These people are not professionals. That warning is false and bad. All right, last TikTok for this one, for this video. Oh, uh, did, uh, uh, stop, stop, stop. Copyright, copyright. Ghost boy, don't do it. All right. Copyright free music. Wow. Oh, it's a flying fish. What the fuck? Damn. What? No. They can't stay out of the water that long. This is Cap. They cannot stay out of the water that long. Something about this is fake. They can... I refuse to believe that they can stay out of the water that long. Anytime I see a flying fish, they glide for like maximum like three or four seconds. With strong wind and a lot of speed, they can? That's crazy. That's actually kind of sick. They can fly like 30 meters. I would have never expected that. Anytime I've seen a flying fish, they usually stay out for like a couple seconds gliding and then they land. That thing was moving like a drone. That's sick.
All right. Back to the back to the drawing board. Everybody say hello, YouTube. It's time for TikTok video two. Time to look at more fish TikToks collected by Soph. All right. Everybody's saying hi to YouTube. Everyone say hey, YouTube. Uh, hit the subscribe button. All right, cool. Let's look at more TikToks. Shock right now. I had UPS lose a package of fish over three weeks ago and they randomly arrived today and they're somehow all alive. They've been stuck in these bags for over three weeks. They have not eaten in over three weeks. The water in the bags is super gross. Yeah, I mean, they're betta fish. That's kind of what they're made for. Betta fish are quite literally bred and built to be abused by children in tiny ass little bowls with no heater and being overfed or underfed like... They're basically built <laughs> to be invincible because that's how that's how they have to be. Otherwise, kids would have to go to the pet store over and over because, or just stop keeping fish in general because they just would die too quickly. And they're somehow still alive. I tested the ammonia in the water just to see, and it's basically black. So I have no idea how these guys survived that. They're all really lively surprisingly um, these two are kind of pale but this girl over here is still pretty colorful okay here they yeah, are yeah i mean i'm sure they're all starving and have severe ammonia burns but like they're aquarium fish and they're bred to be abused so they're probably they're capable of living through worse conditions than that it's kind of what they're made for That thing is getting eaten, right? Dude. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Dude. Okay, to be fair, when you take a fish out of the water and then fucking it starves for a while and then... Or sorry, not starves. It's uh, oxygen deprived for a while and then you just throw it back in. You would be disoriented too. If you were standing on the shore and I dragged you underwater, thrashed you around you a bit, held you underwater more longer than you're comfortable for, and then threw you back on the shore, I don't think you'd be like, okay, time to get up and walk normally. Yeah, there's thermal shock, there's lack of oxygen, there's a lot of things that can lead to uh, you being stunned or uh, fish going to shock a lot. Fish are really susceptible for going into shock. Um, that's why thresher sharks are so successful because you just fucking hit them over the head and they go <laughs> and they just stop existing as fish and they're easy targets to get eaten. How can you breed a fish or animal in general or to get it used or abused? I mean, they all start generally in the same place in nature. Uh, there's something called selective breeding. So if you have, if you're breeding betta fish in captivity and one of them shows a higher resistance to temperature changes or higher resistance to shock or a higher resistance to so forth, you breed that one with the other ones that are very good that have that resistance. And you continuously breed the best offspring with the other best offspring. And eventually your entire population, as long as you are, yeah, it's called artificial selection. As long as you are artificially selecting the best candidates, your entire population will get to a point where they are all really resistant to the things you want them to be resistant to. But that usually comes at an evolutionary trade-off. This is us personifying, or if he actually noticed the fish was gone. Do you think he was just reacting to this water flowing in, or do you think he actually noticed there were fish missing? I was being a pessimist and I was saying that maybe he doesn't like the fish, but copyright music. Soph didn't warn me, so if it's copyrighted, it's her fault. I was being pessimistic and saying maybe he doesn't actually like the fish, but ah oh well. I want the dog to fall in. I think all of our intrusive thoughts were thinking that we hope the dog fall in. So my wife loves puffer fish, and ever since we saw these green spotted puffers in Aquatica last week, it's been over. We are setting up a green spotted puffer tank. We're aiming for this to be pretty aesthetic. We got black sand, I got a hang on back filter, got a really cool thermometer, got to boil the driftwood so that it sinks. That sure. was kind of fun. 
And of course, uh, green spotted puffers take brackish, so that'll be a first for us. Brackish means it's like fresh water, but with salt in it. Also, I gotta put some arganite in it. So like salt water? <laughs> it's like fresh water, but with salt in it. Interesting. Filter I've ne the pea <laughs> never heard someone... It's, just, it's, it, it's not wrong, it's just a very funny way of describing what salt water Gage, is. Mineral balance. And of course, lastly, I added some biological booster, just some uh, beneficial bacteria to get the cycle started. So hopefully this thing cycles fast and we can get some spotted puffers soon. Puffer fish are cute. Puffer fish are definitely one of the most like personality uh, fish. Like if you want a fish that has like a personality and is going to be around you, cichlids can be pretty good. They have a lot of personality to them and they'll reorganize their tank and all that. But um, puffer fish are really good for that too. They're also kind of assholes, though. And they will bite your finger like a carrot, yeah. Stop, stop, stop. They will bite your finger like a carrot, but they are cute. Humu humu nuku nuku kuapua. Oh, ow. Damn, that... <laughs> it's crazy the fish knew exactly where to bite. The fish swam from, but could have attacked him from behind, could have attacked anywhere on his body, but the fish knew to bite exactly where the skin was exposed. That's crazy. That's kind of sick. And he got bruised from it, too. Humu humu nuku nuku kuapua. Or apua. Gave him a hickey. I had no idea that. Oh yeah, official chase lasers, of course. I'm so loud. But yeah, official chase light and laser pointers, of course. Pretty much any living animal will do that. Not just cats. Dogs will chase laser pointers, too. Everyone advertises that cats do it, but dogs will do it, too. They're not above that. Monster aquarium tank? Okay. It's fucking way too big of a fish. To just have. How do you just have an arapaima like that? That should be illegal. What? What even happened? It just freaked the fuck out. It's in a tiny ass tank and it's an enormous fish. Just freaked the fuck out. Yep. Happy fish. It extend to the left? Oh yeah, it definitely extends to the left, but that doesn't make it big enough. Okay. Rip bozos. Oh! The squid. That's so sick. I've never seen squid in action. I'm waiting for like what's going to rise up from the deep because I knew something was going to come up to eat these fish. I've never seen squid in action. Jump, jump, jump. I love how they like they point their beaks, they target, and then they go home. Your sacrifice will be noted. Yeah, that was sick. Squid are cool. All right. Okay. Oh god damn it, it's this thing again, the fucking monkfish mouths. Surely they're just stuffing stuff in the mouth of a monkfish, right? Yeah, no there's no shot a monkfish is consuming all this. I mean I guess if you catch a monkfish at like the bottom of a trawl net, maybe it would just eat everything else in the in that like that's the only way I could see it is like if you were in a trawl net and the monkfish were at the bottom of the net, they would just consume everything in the net. But it doesn't seem right. I mean, it seems fake. The amount of different species... Yeah, it looks fake. They're shoving their fingers through its eyes while it's dead, so what they do with it at this point. Why he drowning him? No, you don't understand. It's a fish. That's how he breathes. He likes that. There's plenty of fish in the sea. The fish. Oh. No, don't. No, don't. No! Rip Bozo. Was it a kingfish? It might be a kingfish. I can't really tell from how fucking zoomed out I am. Oh, I should look at stream. Ah, well. Rip Bozo. Rip fish. I've done that, unfortunately. I hate to say it, but I have done that. I've um, I've pulled up a fish in a net before, and then gone to drop them back, and then, like, they slip out of my hand or they jump out of my hand, and they fall in, like, 
a tiny crack in between rocks. And I'll try, like, my absolute best, like, with a stick or something like that to get them out. But, like, sometimes there's just fucking nothing you can do. If they just fall into, like, the tiniest inescapable crevice, you're just kind of fucked. Unfortunate. Look, I just pulled off my pants. I just felt something spiky on my pants. Is the camera going to be able to zoom in on this? It's like a spiky plant ball. All right. That plant probably came here from, like, Missouri. I probably just spread an invasive species <laughs> because that plant spiked onto my pants and then came back with me. All right. TikTok time number three. Everybody ready? Everybody say hi, YouTube. Everybody say hello. It is time for TikToks and the TikTok time. And everybody loves the TikTok time and it's time for the TikTok time. All right. Have a good day. All right. Hi, YouTube. Hey, hello. Hope everybody's doing well. Let's uh, let's watch some TikToks. Why don't we? Huh? A lot of copyright coming up. Copyright. Okay. No, stop. Stop. No copyright allowed. Ooh, sick. I love this concept of there just being fish in puddles. Surely this fish was released into the puddle. I don't think the fish would just be chilling. Unless this is like Malaysia. Oh, maybe they are just chilling. Oh, it's like a swampy puddle thing. Um, I'm going to Malaysia, and what I found out is that fish in Malaysia straight up just exist in puddles. Like, you know, you walk down the street sometimes, and like in the concrete, there's like a like an inch deep puddle or something like that. Well, in dry season in Malaysia, the fish are obligate air breathers, so they don't really need the oxygen from, like, a, a large body of water, a moving body of water. So, like, all the super rare betta fish and, like, rare loaches and all of that, in Malaysia, in the swamp, you find them in these tiny little pools. So, basically, I'm going to Malaysia, and I'm going into a forest, and I'm looking in tiny little pools... Like, where you would never expect, like, puddles, basically, where you'd never expect there to be a fish looking for rare fish species. Gonna be super sick. That's gonna be the best Avian Jays adventures. There's just no way that Malaysia isn't the best Avian Jays adventures ever. It's gonna be so sick. The actions in this video are performed by professionals. You know, last time I doubted that, so this time I might doubt that. Oh, shit. He said, hello. Is it a tiger shark? Yeah, they'll eat anything. <laughs> Damn, she was about to jump in, too. She was got about to get nommed on. <laughs> I would not recommend uh, putting your feet in front of the face, especially your flippers, which look a lot like fins, in the face of a uh, tiger Troll, shark. No talking. Does that mean? Second rule: no eating in my class. Would anyone care for a bonbon? Uh, I'll eat one. <gasps> Pick your favorite. How's it taste? It's a delightful taste sensation. No eating in my classroom. For <laughs> the fuck? What did I just watch? I mean, I know they were fake fish. I know she had like little rubber clownfish that she threw and not the actual fish. But like, <laughs> what the fuck was the, the fuck was the point of that? How to get fired? Why are you guys all assuming it was real? There's no way it was real. At 100%, it, it like even had a camera cut. She definitely like had a fake fish in her hand or something like that. There's no, it was definitely not real. It was definitely fake. I worked in an aquarium and they did this with the fish that were sick. They just picked them up and threw them? <laughs> what? I don't think that's what you do with a sick fish. What the heck is this? I found him crawling on one of my goldfish. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Some kind of lice. Cute fish lice. Love, love fish parasites. No, not a little frog boy. Probably a fish lice. Fish louse, as they are called. A lot of fish get them. You don't see them that often in, um, in aquariums. At least I don't see them often in the aquariums. Yeah, they're really cool looking. They're really bad for the fish, but they are really cool looking. Oh no, not the eel, eel pit. pit. is getting exciting quick now that we added these spotted gar. There's Here's gar? He put gar in the eel pit? Why did he put gar in the eel pit? What the fuck is going on? Why? It's a gar pit now? First look at them. I caught them in the last video, 
and the full video is on my YouTube page. Uh, he just caught wild gar and put them in his basement pit? Aren't gar, like, threatened in areas? Shouldn't this be illegal? How do you just pick up gar from the wild? They're like a threatened species. A cow turtle. But yes, here is my favorite of the spotted gar. This is Garados. He is the smaller one, and he is definitely the prettiest. But yeah, it's amazing to see these guys. These guys are dinosaurs. Uh, they live 100 million years ago, 150 million years ago. Spinosaurus actually used to feed on gar. And this little bullhead is still alive. He's been down here over a month now with the eels. That is an adorable and, catfish. Uh, somebody named him Dilbert. So, super cute. It's just so sick. You know, you just hate to see other people living out your dreams and doing them in a way you wouldn't do them. I feel like this basement, basement full of perfect fresh water has so much potential. I would put such sick stuff in there. The coolest fucking minnows and darters and everything. And instead he's fucking got Dilbert the catfish and the giant spotted gar. The beat. <laughs> okay. Never have open top tanks. Never let your fish and cat interact. This is a terrible recipe for all kinds of disaster. Fish could have fucking dragged your cat in there. Cat in there. The cat could have dragged your fish out of there. Cat are shockingly good at picking fish out of water, even when they look too big. But this is funny. It does sound like sea bat. <laughs> this video is a PSA. Yeah, the tank does look awful. It's got like some rainbow gravel, but not enough. It's basically just a fucking blank bottom. Really gross tank. Doesn't surprise me that the people who have a gross tank. Wow. I don't even know what that is. Is that one of the the Asian snakehead? Is this one of those uh ju uh what are those called? Um uh not juvenile, small, miniature snakeheads. There's a word for them, whatever they're called. Is it one of those? I don't know. No, it's not a betta fish. Yeah, it's really pretty. There are a lot of those in, uh, I'm going to, like I said, going to Malaysia. Dwarf snakehead. Yeah, yeah, Chana, Chana. Dwarf snakehead. I couldn't think of the word for small. Um, yeah, there's a lot of those where I'm going in Malaysia. So I probably will catch some of the pretty ones. I mean, this guy is just exceptionally pretty. I have a feeling he was bred to look like this. I doubt, like, many of the wild fish are just looking like this normally, but... I will be probably catching some dwarf snakehead. Oh, it's Jonathan Buttkiss Media. We love Jonathan Buttkiss Media. Hello there. Bro, sunfish just do this. Every time I put my underwater camera somewhere, if there's sunfish in that location, a group of sunfish will gather in front of the underwater camera and then just... For like two minutes straight. Usually my entire footage, I don't get any other interesting fish on my underwater footage because a giant group of sunfish just fucking peepo stare at the camera. It's insane. This is a freshwater shark, right? Nope. <laughs> nope. That's that's a sunfish, but okay. Very good. Thank you for asking. At least he put the question mark and the face. It, you know, at least he didn't say this is a freshwater shark. If you were here for the beginning of the stream, you saw the terrible fish IDs from the New Jersey Fishing Group. So this is better than that, at least. My grandma put her fish in timeout. Time Are you kidding me? My grandma put her fish <laughs> What the fuck? Bro, old people just have powers. He got grounded. Yeah, what did he do? What did he do wrong? Was he just being too excited or something? The tank's kind of sad. There's just absolutely fucking nothing to exist, and it's just like open water and emptiness. But, like, you gotta respect her uh, ability to control the fish, though. That's kind of sick. Alright, last TikTok of the day. He blubbed too loud. Um, excuse me, what the actual fuck are you doing in my house? <laughs> uh, 
this is me every time I free dive. I'm like underwater and I'm like, wow, this is the most beautiful experience I've ever had. Looking around, I'm like free diving in the river and the beautiful bass go by me and the shad go by me. And then there's herring and I've got all the little darters on the bottom and I'm just swimming around immersed in their world. And they're looking up at me like, mm, excuse me, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> They've probably never seen a human being in their lives. They've lived their entire lives in the fucking Delaware River. And here I am free diving in the river like 10 feet down swimming by them. They've never even, they don't even have a concept of what a human is, and I'm just swimming by them. <laughs> Please give me a compilation of Bluegill staring at a camera. I have a lot of that footage. I have a lot of footage of Sunfish just staring directly at my underwater camera. <laughs> like, more than you would think. Alright, thank you so for the TikToks. Alright. Full time. What now? We've got um, Shitty Aquarium and Sporkle Quizzes. Those are the two things left. An entire 20-minute video of Sunfish Daring. What would you guys do if I uploaded for Halloween like a, uh, a video of two, like a bunch of Sunfish just staring at the camera for 20 minutes with uh, eerie music? <laughs> Thank you, Arnav. Yes, please do that. I feel like you guys wouldn't actually watch this. This sounds like one of those things where you guys are like, ah, yeah, I'd do that. Yeah, that's cool. I would definitely watch that. Buggers. And you're all fucking lying. Please to make me. the sunfish video. Okay, maybe I have to now. I just, I mean, I have a lot of that footage. Trust me, it happens often. Okay, I will consider it, chat. I will look through the footage I have and I will consider it, okay? I have, I'd have to look through what I have in my footage. Let's see, fish footage. I have a lot of fish footage. I don't know how much of it is sunfish staring at the camera, though. Because I don't always save those videos. I usually only save the fish footage. Like, look, I, have a, I only have this much saved. I've taken a lot more than this. This is all I have saved, because I only save when I see something interesting. Like, look, I saved this one because there was a beautiful bass. But I probably wouldn't save the ones where, like, it's just a bunch of fish staring. But I will probably get more of those in the future. So we'll see. Okay, what did you guys vote on? Sporkle quizzes it is. Alright, I've collected three Sporkle quizzes to test my knowledge of fish and other things. Can you pick the order in which the organisms below appeared on Earth? Surely as like a chat, as a collective, we can do this, right? Okay, 3.8 billion years ago. That's too long ago for fish. Fish are like 500 million. First life, that makes sense, right? First life would probably be 3.8 billion, but it could also be multicellular. No, because life existed single cellularly for way too long. I think it's first life. Okay, 2.1, that could be multicellular, right? 2.1 billion would probably be multicellular life. 570 million. Is that land plants or is that fish? Or are, wait, arthropods. Did arthropods come before fish? Land plants? You guys are saying land plants. Fuck you guys. Why did I listen to you? Alright, hold on, hold on. I'm playing it on my own. I'm not looking at chat. First life, multicellular life. 570 is arthropods. 530 is fish. 475 is land plants. 370 reptiles. Fuck! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 3.8. First life, multicellular life, then came arthropods, then came fish, then came land plants. Land plants existed after fish. Then amphibians, then reptiles, then birds. What? Mammals came before birds? Wait, what? Oh, I'm stupid. Birds came from... Okay. I broke my mic. Right, is my mic back? Okay. All right, all right, all right. First life, multicellular life, arthropods, fish land plants, amphibians, reptiles, mammals, birds, humans. We did it. That was um, embarrassing. And you guys got it wrong immediately, so you don't get to say anything. Shark anatomy. Can you name the parts of a shark? Oh my god. Type of fin that provides dynamic... Here, let me put music. Dynamic lift and helps to maintain depth... Which fin provides dynamic lift? That would be 
uh, pectoral. All right. Predominant fin located on the backs. Dorsal. Type of fin uses the main source of thrust. Caudal. Sharp protrusions on their skin that reduce turbulence when swimming means small teeth. Placoderm? What? Sharp protrusions on their skin. Scale? What? Denticle. Oh my god, you guys are geniuses. I forgot about denticles. I don't study sharks at all. Organ that makes up 30% of total body mass and helps with buoyancy. They they use their liver for buoyancy. Sensory organs used to detect electromagnetic fields. Oh, is this the fucking Lorenzini? I don't know how to spell this. The ampu ampuli. Okay, ampuli Lorenzini. I got it. Flexible and durable connective tissue. That's cartilage. Cartilage. Car cartilage. Cartil cartil carta chat help. Cartilage. Okay, thank you. Crystal blocks made of calcium salts arranged in a mosaic on sharks. It's just describing teeth. Oh fuck, I got a different one. Whoops. Crystal blocks made of calcium salts arranged in a mosaic on a shark's jaws. What? What does this mean? I'm going to the next one. Type of pore that allows sharks to detect motion or vibrations. Lateral line. Part of a male shark that assists with mating. Um, claspers. Type of fin that assists with turning, stopping, and moving up or down. Anal. Fin. Nope. Pelvic, I meant. Pelvic fin. I think we did this one. It's crazy if we did this one and I don't remember. I don't know most of these. U-shaped organ that uses strong enzymes and acids to stomach. Slits located. Gills. Okay, I'm missing the mosaic jaws thing. Tesserae? Holy shit, I would have never gotten that. Small, thick piece of cartilage located on the floor of the mouth. Tesserae does sound good. What is small, thick piece of cartilage? Is it just a tongue? Oh, it's just a fucking tongue. Let's go. Even though I probably have already done that quiz before, I forgot most of it because this is not information that I actively use at all. I don't study sharks. I don't really spend any time around sharks or talking about sharks very often other than the Megalodon, which shouldn't really count. So, you know what? I'm just happy I got most of those. All right, last one. Word ladder, different kinds of sharks. Oh, God. All right, color of the sky, blue shark. English rock band famous for song two, Blur. Utter, un, utter, unclearly hurtful remark. Slur. Oh, Jesus. Slimy garden bug, slug. Walk slowly. Ah. Uh, trudge, stomp. It's got to be three, four letters. And it's got to be one letter off from the one before. These are all types of sharks. There's a slug shark. There's a slur shark? What? Oh, the ones with these next to them are sharks. I see. Sloth? Slum? That's not... Huh. Sl... 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 Flag. Slog? What? Severely beat or whip. Clog. Wait, no, that makes no sense. Slop. Lag. Um. Slap would be great, but it's two letters off. Flog? I've never heard of a flog. Croping, croping animal. Frog. There's a frog shark. Gift tag word. From. Annual high school dance. Prom. Item in an actor's hand. Prop. Palindromic ship deck. Hey, to the the brig, the 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 port and the bow and the a poop. What? Why is it poop? I know that poop is a palindrome, but why is it? okay? Swimming spot, pocket billiards. Pocket billiards? 
loop. What the hell? What? What? Wait, uh, don't look, don't look, don't look. Don't look, I didn't look. You probably all looked, I didn't look. Blue, blur, slur, slug, slog, blog, brog, uh, from, rom, prop, poop, pool. I saw a pool. All right, casting of votes, poll. Influential person has, pull. Any male bovine animal, bull. Oh, bull shark, greater part. The greater part. Bull? No. Bulk? Oh shit. Put on a pouty face. Sulk. Red from caterpillar. Silk. Cereal companion. Milk. There's a milk shark? What the hell is a milk shark? I've never heard of a frog shark or a milk shark. Eight furlongs? What? Milt. Mile? Oh. Is furlong a unit of measurement? Little bit or a little biter? Might? Chess win. Mate. To create. Make. Another name for mackerel shark. Mako! We did it, and we definitely did not cheat. We won 100%, 100% real, and real, and definitely real. We won. Alright, all that's left is shitty aquariums. Should I do shitty aquariums today? Or should I not do shitty aquariums today, chat? Should I end stream right now, or should I do shitty aquariums? Yes? Okay. Seems like we do want shitty aquariums. Alrighty. Let's see. Top from this week. Because it's been a week. Poggers. Top from the past Keep week. being the best fish biologist and gamer on Twitch. Love your streams. Thank you, big bongin' boy. You know what's insane? I don't even know who you are. Nine months? We had a baby together, and I, I don't recognize your name. Did you change your name? How do we have a baby together, and I don't know your name? That's crazy. There's no way I've said thank you, big bong and boy, nine times. I refuse this. I refuse to believe this. I've never heard of this person. They have 500 messages? And they did the exclamation point boost so many times. Okay, most of their messages, to be fair, are from February, where they said exclamation point boost. Ah, interesting. <laughs> what are you naming the baby? Alright, chat. Let's see what Reddit has to offer. What the fuck is wrong with this? What? What? What happened? Why is Reddit- Oh, I know why Reddit's being dumb. Hold on. I know why it's being dumb. Yep, that's why. Alright, top from this week. Let's do it. My science fair about nature is handing out bettas. Jesus Christ. Just a giant bag of uh, aquarium store bettas. I am sure they will go to good homes and they will be treated very well and everything will be good. Average fish tank ad? I've never seen an ad for a fish tank. They just kind of exist. The companies just kind of exist and they make them and they sell them and people buy them. I've never actually seen an advertisement for like a cool fish tank or a decorative fish tank or all these advancements or anything. Because anyone who actually knows anything and would care about those doesn't want something like this. My local pet store is Axolotl. What the fuck is that? Where are its front limbs? Or even its back limbs? What is going on? And look at the fucking trumpet snails. There's so many. It literally looks dead. It looks like a fetus. This is your baby after three months. Don't believe the liberals. It has a beating heart and eyes. <laughs> Don't fall for the liberals tricks. That's your fetus. This girl claimed to be an aquascaper. Now I see why I never got pics of her tank. <laughs> She's an aquascaper, all right. Fucking... Marbles, colorful marbles, fake plants, and her cat literally in the tank. Just about every red flag you could have. 
If you go over to a girl's house and this is what you see, these are red flags. This is equivalent to her being emotionally abusive. This is the same thing. What the fuck? Old retro phone booth transformed into fish tank in Osaka, Japan? No! Oh, those are all goldfish. Oh no, they're gonna die so soon. One day of sun is just gonna create a shitload of algae. And there's just not enough oxygen for that many fish. Oh, that is rough. Every single one of those fish is just dead for sure. I would not proudly put your name on designing that. It's cool in, like, concept, but Jesus. Jack Aquarium? Oh my god. <laughs> That's, uh... Yeah, I guess I should be prepared to see that on Halloween. You could put your fish bowl. If you got a big enough pumpkin, you can put your fish bowl in a pumpkin. Which is kind of a cool idea if it wasn't a fishbowl. If it wasn't a fishbowl, cool idea to put it in the pumpkin. Like my my pumpkin a couple of years ago, I don't know if I still have it. I'd have to here, let me see if I can let me see if I can find the image. Because it was the greatest idea I've ever had. Um, I can find it. Look. What fuck. Alright, well this is my Instagram. You guys you guys know my Instagram. At Zachary. Look at this. We put a tiny pumpkin screaming in the mouth of an angry, bigger pumpkin. So the tiny pumpkin's getting eaten by the bigger pumpkin. Tell me that's not cool. This is just a better version of the fish tank one. Just a better version. It's such a good idea. If you guys need if you guys need a pumpkin idea, feel free to use that and say it's your own. You can you don't have to say you stole it from me. You can say you made that one up. What the fuck is happening? Oh, is that... Surely those are food, right? Or something? Because they all look dead. Something has to eat them. There's no way those are meant to be the fucking fish that are going in the tank. Have had for a couple months now, and after a few washes and bleaches... I'd say... Oh, and the suction cup. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't think you should use bleach on a tank that you're going to put water in and have uh, living things in. Probably not going to go over well, but hey, you know what? You do you. Dude, I got sent this post so many fucking times. I saw this post like three years ago when it was first posted. The past three days have been hell for me on Instagram. I keep getting DMs on Instagram and I check all my DMs because I don't know why because, you know, maybe I'll get a cool DM from someone interesting who has something cool to say. But like constantly the past few days, every DM I've gotten and been like, oh, I wonder what this person sent me. Or I wonder what's interesting is this fucking thing. This fucking tilapia in a box meme. Didn't have time for this. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't think time was the issue, considering the amount of algae growth that made it in there, but hey, who knows? Surely it's not that one meme. Every time, literally every time I open my Instagram DMs, I'm like, surely they didn't just send me the fish in the box. It's something interesting this time. It's something cool. I'm going to enjoy opening this DM, and I keep opening it. Let me show you, because you think I'm fucking making this shit up? Now, let me go to my DMs right now. Hold on. DM requests. Yep. First DM I opened. Michael. Michael sent me the fish in the box. Alright, the next DM. Where is it? Hold on, I have to be on a different account. Yeah, I get more requests on the AVNJ Fishes account. I can't find it. Okay, I I swear to you, it seems like I'm exaggerating right now, but I swear like 30 people sent me this. Maybe some of them were on Twitter on any, any things, but literally so many people sent me the fucking fish in the cardboard box. And I know now that I bring it up on stream and it's going to end up in the video, more people are going to send me it. So I'm just going to go with a pre-fuck you to everybody who's going to send me this now. Tetras in a dehumidifier? What? 
Why? 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 Why did you make a dehumidifier into a tank? What an insane and unnecessary idea. What the fuck? They just put neon tetras in a fucking... Okay. That's crazy. I'm telling you, they always fucking do that. At a friend's house? Yep, that is a big-ass goldfish in a tiny-ass tank. Oh yeah, my Halloween costume is a seahorse. You guys want to see it? Once we're done with this, I'll show you it as an outro. Okay. Your kid just put all of their... Oh, okay. That's, um... That's interesting. The kid just stuffed every toy they have in the fucking fish tank. Honestly, as long as it wasn't in there that long, it probably wouldn't be too big of a deal. I don't know, maybe the bacteria is a problem. Oh, what the fuck? Are these keychains? Are you meant to carry a goldfish around on your keychain? What is this? Why does it have this? Why? Why is this an invention? This is what I mean. Like, no one advertises these things. They just fucking show up. One day, there just suddenly exists a really shitty fish-adjacent product, and nobody knows why or where it came from. Unique concept of aquarium. Yep, terrible tank with a shitload of stuff in it. The lobby of an apartment complex. What the fuck? Damn, you know, that could be so sick. This could be such a sick tank. If there was, like, a genuine bottom substrate to this tank and they had normal, not fucking koi fish in it, this would be such a sick tank. It looks like a liminal space. This could be so cool. I'm always mad when things like this exist because they could be so cool and instead it's so lame. It's just so lame and weird and abusive and it could just be so cool. Not only shitty, but a truly unhinged price tag. Starter fish tanks, $100. Bro, those are like $5 at any local aquarium store. And they'll probably even throw in a fish because they want you to come back. Oh yeah, that's a lot of koi. Yeah, Korea and Japan and China in general have a lot of... Um, they do a lot of overstocking, but they also keep the water fairly clean. So most of the effects from overstocking are somewhat minimized with like fish farming and aquariums in those countries because they do a really good job of keeping like they have very advanced equipment for keeping the uh, stuff clean but it's still not particularly healthy for the fish it's just kind of about efficiency from fair fish to mrs sparkles cheers for a brighter future <laughs> you know i don't think that fish has a very bright future ahead i think it has a life of swimming around in the tiny bowl with absolutely nothing to do and nowhere to go at least there's an actual, what I think is an actual plant. Hopefully it's not a toxic plant to the fish, because that happens. Insane. Alrighty. You guys want to see the costume? We'll be done for today. Let me... Let me go get the costume on. Alright, you all have to be really good, though. You all have to like. You have to watch every video for the next week and like and uh, subscribe. Otherwise, I won't do this. Right back. Was it worth it? Is this what you wanted? Look at this. Look at this. I have a fucking, fucking seahorse tail. This is so phallic. Why would anybody want this? This is horrifying. Poggers. Is this what you wanted? All right, at least someone subbed. Fuck you all. Fuck you.
and everything you stand for. Have a good night. Bye.